Hello. Yeah. yeah. I'm Uncle Yap, and uh, with me, this is uh, Mr. Sunny yeah. Chia. Sunny Chia. And Mr. Ng Tek Siong. Mm. Hello. Okay. Thank, thank you for inviting us here. Yes, uh, it's my pleasure. I I like to conduct an interview on the incident on uh, 27 April at uh, Singapore Chinese Girls School Nomination Center for General Election 2011. Uh, I already record previously two videos uh, describing my own uh, testimony of what happened. And Mr. Ng Tek Siong on that day is the candidate uh, for Tanjong Paga GRC. He, he was a person who formed up a team. And I was the one other person that I think Mr. Chia was one other person also. Uh, election agent. agent. Election agent, yes. To be nominated, uh, to be appointed as election agent uh, for Tanjong Paka GRC. Uh, maybe we start with Mr. Ng. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Nice to be interviewed by Uncle Yao. On that day, 27 of April, we were at the nomination center exactly 25 minutes past 11. We were not late. Our nomination form was all right, and our five candidates entered the nomination center on time, and we were all having our deposit ready to be what they call processed by the returning officer at the center and there was nothing short. We were surprised to be disqualified by the returning officer saying that we were 35 seconds late. This was really a situation which we do not agree with until this day. We know that we were right on time that day, and it should not be a quali disqualified by the returning officer. In fact, I was there raising objection to this episode, and I'm so sorry to the Tanyong Paga voter that despite our diligence on all this, we were not able to enter this contest and the disappointment of Tanyong Paga voter was very, very great. So we feel very sorry for the Tanyong Paga electorate. We will hope that in future such thing will not happen again. Anyway, this is the sign that our election in Singapore is not free and fair because a 35 second late is not a, a very, very great thing. It is, in fact, not the 30 second. We were, in fact, we have submitted the form to the returning officer even five minutes before noon. And yet, the returning officer had the form in his hand, refusing to process. And he was complaining to me about my candidate, other candidate not there. I seek his permission to get them to the to the what they call table, and he approved it. Therefore, I went back there and to get it to get them to the table. But I was surprised when I returned that the returning officer announced that the time is over and we were disqualified and the PAP team for the GRC was announced uh, walk over in Tanjong Baga Just a, GRC. some clarification when you say the table uh, this is something in my own video previously I call it the uh, counter counter yeah. yes uh, uh, just not to have confusion we yes, just know that it's the table and the counter is we are referring to the same thing this the is the, uh, the desk uh, mm. that they have for, with a sign Tanjong Paka GRC, GRC and then table number one, table number two. Number two yes. So uh, that that's the same place. There is one, uh, two officers sitting there, and they will receive the nomination form from candidates. That's right. Just to clarify, also one more thing, 
uh, in, the nom in the school hall that we call the nomination hall, in the front, when the entrance we, uh, enter, they ask for identity of each person, who are the candidates, right? Right. And who are the proposer, seconder, seconder. four seconder. ascenders, and the other persons. So yes. every person enter the hall. Uh, not everyone can enter, correct? That not everyone can enter. You have been given a rate, uh, a uh, name tag, that it says candidate. Candidate. And I think the two of us have the brown one. Uh, yeah. Mine says one other person. Yours? Other person. Mr. Chair. Yes, election, election, election agent for the show. Yeah, but the card, your card says one other person. Yeah. yeah. One other person, correct. Because on election agent under the law is something that uh, only the candidate can appoint after the nomination. After the So the, the, the agent uh, that to be appointed when you enter the hall, you enter as one other person. After your candidacy is established already, then the candidate can, under the law, appoint himself candidate or another person as the election agent. Election agent. So, when we entered the hall, it was about 11.30, 11.25. 11.25. Correct? Yes. And then, uh, there because a seconder change. Change. So, you have to take oath, oath. for the new set of uh, uh, nomination form. Nomination form. And how long did the, the oath process take? The whole process take about 20 minutes. Yeah. So I think that is a bit long. And it, it took away the bulk of the time yeah. left for the nomination. Yes. I Still there was sufficient time. Yes, I, I think this is called a, a hair-splitting bureaucracy yes. that uh, Lee Kuan Yew regime's uh, election department have pulled on candidate Mr. Ng Teng Siong. Mm -hmm. In my view, in my account as a witness, the nomination form handing in process already began, was in progress before the announcement of 12 uh, noon. noon, a cutoff. Because the form handed yes. by candidate Mr. Ng Teng Siong was in the hand of okay. election department's officer at the counter of handing in the form. He was reading the form. This begins the, the process. progress of nomination. If the officer thinks he wants the candidate, all centers, proposers, seconder, all to be in front, and he wants it demanded by 12, which he know the time, he should have informed Mr. Ng with the urgency of time. Right. That means uh, to say that uh, Mr. Ng, you are here to nominate, I believe. Yes, I have your form. Uh, the time is very close. You have only one, two minutes left. Please have every person in front of me. If not, uh, within another one minute, I'm going to refuse to accept your nomination. Do you understand? He have to say that up front, not yes. bring a surprise on you, to, like uh, everything is normal. Yes. Correct? Correct. And uh, when you were called to the counter of the Commissioner of Oath, I was there, I said, uh, Mr. Ng, I, I, I go and fetch your candidate, ask them to come over instead of you yes. go. Yes. But uh, instead, you have asked the counter officer. The returning officer for permission yes. to get my other candidate to go to That means you ask for the permission counter. to leave. And the, the permission was granted by the correct. returning officer. Correct. And I think to say that uh, it is okay you can leave, mm -hmm. the election department have to take the responsibility to say okay. If it's not okay, you have to tell people up front. Yes. Not to spring a surprise on the candidate to say, if it's not okay, I would, if I were the officer, I have a sincerity to tell you, uh, you have about 60 seconds, 30 seconds left. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, if, if, uh, if you're not uh, making it in 60 seconds, then I'm not going to accept your nomination. No, he, say did, so. not he did not say so. One okay, you could proceed, right? Yes, so when you left and you went to the, uh, mm -hmm. the counter, yes. uh, where the, the commissioner of oath is, mm -hmm. Then I suddenly see the uh, group assistant returning officer went to the microphone on the stage and announced and that the, the nomination for Radim Mas, Tanjung Paka and Wang Pua is now closed. Yes. Therefore, evidently, the nomination progress in, uh, process in progress was in progress before 12 noon, before the announcement. Yes. It began when the officer took the form and started reading it. Yes. But it was aborted halfway. 
halfway. They refuse to complete right. the process. I think it's the failure of the election department to complete the, the, process, the process and really. also fail to inform the candidate about the urgency of time and they are going to uh, play by split hair accuracy yes. of, of uh, cut off time. They spring a surprise. Uh, I think that is very nasty. Yes. Uh, you see, when I, as an agent, I was with Dick Shaw. The first thing I know, I walk into the hall. Before I walk into the hall, the security check on us. Purposely delay and check on us. Even body shirts. Yes, there's uh, okay. a few body, minutes spent even on body that. Church, okay? Then we wish the hall entrance, another barrier come in. Ask we all this, ask we all that again. Then from there, it, another delay. Okay? Then, when, when I go inside the hall, I was so surprised that it's in a mess. There's no one stop. One stop, you know? Procession of candidate. And that is the part. I was Instantly, I know they are trying to be funny. Actually, you must have one stop. Arrange accordingly. One, two, three, accordingly. But no. This intention got to run to the commission of oak, got to run to, to confirm with the with the entrance people, uh, these are the candidate, let them come in, this and that thing. Then when intention process everything, the form, I saw my own eye, the form was given to the, the attorney to officer. the officer. The officer take the form. But who it? Who it? The candidate was all the time behind. Some of them are just behind in the shop. And then uh, the co commission was oh, holding one of the men there. Then by the time he stand up and call them, you know what the returning officer said? Reject. Why? Because your man didn't sit in the, didn't sit in the, in the seat. Mm -hmm. Hey, there is something wrong. Implant. You already accept the form. But you never process it. And also in the counter, you never say anything that all the candidates must be seated there within this hour. And then the clock, the whole clock, so 12 o'clock. Exactly. Never move. But the returning officer, they got one janitor clock. The janitor clock. Digital clock. Digital clock. They move. They move. But the clock still down there. They move at all. That's very clear. They have to process. Cheating. So you think it's uh, very infuriating, it's very uh, unfair, yes? yes? It's not unfair. Yeah. I told all the returning officers out there, if the international press will come to know about this, it could bring disgrace to Singapore and the people. And the people, that's 100% sure. You don't see Singapore election no cheating. Yes, we are cheating! You feel like uh, it's being tricked. Yes. Yes, I feel that obstruction and barrier was raised there, with the intention to disqualify the opposition candidate. Because immediately after the incident, uh, within the legitimate time to raise objection, I know under the Election Act, I can object to Lee Kuan Yew's uh, nomination as a candidate. Mm -hmm. But the officer dodged my objection, they, they don't want to come to the counter and instead they put police officer to come to the counter um, to, to try to get me to leave, the, all of us to leave. Uh, and then immediately he know that I want to make an objection. He, it, he had the whole hall, Radin Mas Wampua, all other constituency candidates all still awaiting for the, uh, their processing of the finalize their nomination. They have held up everybody. Immediately they take Lee Kuan Yew out. To the balcony and announce him walkover. Announce the walkover for Tanyang Paga GRC, GRC, which is in which, that, which is in not really in any case. hurry, yes. except mm -hmm. that they know I want to object, Mr. Ng. Before I me already also raised objection also. Yes, that was I, Mr. Ng's objection was before me because. Mm -hmm. I actually went downstairs uh, to spend some time recording a, a short video, a short video. Uh, describing the incident uh, for the internet. But at that time, Mr. Ng already objected. Yes. And they never asked for the objection in writing. Because um, the returning officer is supposed to tell you that your objection to Lee Kuan Yew's ca uh, candidate uh, nomination uh, in law have to be given in writing. They have to give you a form, a uh, paper to, yeah, to write. Yes, no. You are right. no, they just act blur. Yeah, blur. 
and uh, they, they take advantage uh, of you not insisting to to get to forward the form. Yeah. yes to forward this process but when I came down from I came back upstairs to the hall after recording the video I insist uh, to press and they dodge mm -hmm. they so, no need dodge the policeman prevent you from coming in any, anymore that's right they ask they ask you to leave they ask us to leave and don't come back and ask us to leave by a back different up. gate that, okay, that is yeah. from that gate it's very difficult to come back into the even the school the school also yes that is Mm -hmm. uh, that makes things very obvious. After noon, the main door will be closed. You see, all Singaporeans must believe what I say. Our newspaper are controlled by the PAP. Our radio and TV also control. Don't control by them. Don't believe what they say. Don't believe what they say. Believe what we say to you now. Yeah. Don't ever, ever vote a dictator. The wind of change that they come to our shore. Tunisia gone overnight, Egypt gone overnight, Libya is going to go very soon. Almost all the Middle East country on fire. They don't want the data. They want the power of the people. The people must have a great voice in the parliament. Mm. Now they play a very cheap, very cheating. You can see, the, you know, they have camera there. They, you can ask for their camera to show it to you. You were exactly what we said, what Mr. Angliya said and Mr. Nixon said. Exactly. Then you believe that we Singaporean people have courage. You see, every party, political party, they're not to go to Tanjobaka. He had to resign. That man all resigned to, to go there as independent. And we end now so early that we got no money. Within three hours, we got 80,000 deposit to pay. That's why we, we are... They are working on a very constrained time, and they do it right. Uh, Mister, on time. Mr. Chair, how far were you that day uh, from the distance from yourself to Lee Kuan Yew? Oh, just behind me. Few just meters, behind right? me. Few meters. Because I, I, I recall you, you have some observation that about Lee Kuan Yew that I did not observe. You said something about his knee and his jacket. I think he he, he he unable to move his body. He just sits straight. I think he got a, 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 a spinal cord jacket to, to show him up. To up, upright his spine. Upright his spine. He never move at all. He just stiff, stiff like that. Then the leg, when you come out, somebody got to press the leg down. Then he can, somebody to help him push up. Then he can, and then help he, him uh, uh, first by pushing his push, knee. Then uh, help him to uh, uh, stand up uh, from uh, his seat, uh, yes? Seat. You that see? I saw, that I saw. Yeah, some you people see? have to help him out from... I can seat. tell you this. Yes. No matter you wear how many thick clothing, we cannot see inside. But I know he's wearing uh, something like T, you know, spinal cord, the type of oh, 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 support. So he is put up his health mm. status uh, to, to deceive people, to, to make a, a yeah, very like impressive uh, state like of he, health. He, 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 he still, you know, but, but when, uh, in when, person you can see. But it. when he go out to that and now, a candidate, he just only thanks the, 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 the PAP. Can, and then he say that he will take care of his work. That's all. And he go away. Very clear. Very clear. That man is very sick. A 87 years old man still want to carry on. And every year we got to pay him. I don't know how many millions, three, four million, I don't know. They, they are not letting you know, without tax. And this money comes from the poor people like me. I'm a poor man, a very poor man, taxi driver, very, very poor man. You see? No. Oh, oh, it's up all oh, blood. Now we balance on this a skeleton. If the slow wind comes, we will blow away. I'd like to, Mr. Ng to share uh, with uh, our internet audience about the uh, loan and donated money that uh, you're currently returning to uh, the people who provide and offered you. I think those people who have donated to the, were the team of the opposition Tanyupaga GRC, I would like to thank them. And all those money we have now, by now, almost uh, return to them, except only those small donations we are still processing to return to them. And we will not personally profit from this 
donation. Those donation donors who have not want to claim their money back, we will we will give it to the charity that among us we will decide on it. Yes, I also have this message of thanking uh, the people who responded to my call uh, to come out uh, to financially help the nomination deposit for Tanjung Paka GRC because uh, actually I was at the election department one day with Mr. Atero Lim and uh, when we came out after asking some questions processing the nomination uh, requirement actually a reporter came and asked Mr. Lim and I, I heard from the reporter that uh, Mr. Ng Tex Yong had an hour ago announced to the press that uh, he gave up his uh, campaign for Tanjung Paga uh, to contest uh, because of shortage of uh, 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 donation. The money. No, the fund from the other party that is supposed to supporting funding their candidate to contest oh, in Tanjung Paga yes. GRC. That was, uh, I think, is. The PKMS and the SDA. Correct. And uh, the reporter asked uh, Mr. Atero Lim to comment on this. Atero uh, refused to comment. And uh, immediately I, I started to call uh, Mr. Ntexio. And I assured him that uh, fund can be raised uh, and we still have time, about one, one day, two days or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, I asked him to gather his team and ready to contest. And uh, mm -hmm. really, I thank uh, the people from the internet to respond in such a quick way and I think this gives uh, our Singapore uh, opposition people fighter uh, a lot of confidence that uh, you know uh, that you people uh, patriotic Singaporean will come forward with money and help and uh, we just have to do our part to to fight I, I just wish Singaporean you got strength give us a strength if you got some money help us I guarantee you we are genuine people we want to go to Parliament Huh? Give you a voice there. And I, in front of Lee Kuan Yew, I did say, you all, all the officers sitting down there, I tell them very clear, you all are scholar. Scholar go by the books. They don't want to think out of the box. But when they think out of the box, they join the opposition party. Is it clear proof enough for you people to believe us? I would like to thank the Tanjung voters as well as Singaporeans who have donated toward the Tanjung Opposition Independent uh, Candidate. We really appreciate all those supporters. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's quite good.